Miss Patty McCormick as Rhoda. And Miss Nancy Kelly as Christine Penmark. And as for you... Man, there's a major difference in the way parents of different cultures are punished and spank their kids. Man, I wish I grew up in that house. Man, I wish they'd do like a different strokes of Webster and let me move in there, man. Woo, man, if, if, that's a, if that's what they call a spanking, pop, 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 woo we I want to move into that house. And that leads us to today's show. We're going to talk about the cultural differences in spanking your kids or punishing okay you guys here we go hello ladies and gentlemen we're here for what we call our friday night madness i'm with my boy troy what is up troy what is up troy hey dizzle what is cracking <laughs> that's it man yeah what is cracking um i like to start off with our, our culture how are, how were you doing and what do you have planned this weekend? Of course, the pandemic, mm, there's not much you could say, but hey, how was your weekend? What do you have planned this weekend? You know what? I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go into character. Wow, I plan on going to the backyard. Been hearing some things rustling around in the office in the bushes there. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I'm gonna just go to the backyard, <laughs> hang out at the backyard, you know. Been doing the kitchen and the living room lately. That sounds exciting. Yeah, you know, wow. I mean, the backyard, you know, and I'm, and I'm gonna walk around in the backyard. Man, that's like getting turned up in the backyard. Man, I'm jealous. Yeah, no, don't. Hey, you know what? You can do it too. I'm by myself. You by yourself. I think you can do it too. <laughs> man. I'm by <laughs> yeah, I have a pet, and then, like I said. Our different rooms. Uh, I could go in each room and pretend I'm in a different country. You know what? That's that. That would be a good idea. Kind of put every part of your house into a theme park. You know, Italy could be the kitchen. You know, especially if you want to cook some spaghetti or something. You know, your bedroom could be France. You know, the romantic place. You know, and, you know, and the bathroom. It could be like. Be like Watts, you know. <laughs> Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The bathroom, you know. No, nah, I take that back. Shots out to Watts, but the bathroom could be <laughs> a whole nother, a whole nother. Uh, uh, it could be in the United States, right? Okay. Um, yeah. Before I go any, yeah, exactly. Before you go any further, let's talk about today's topic. Today's topic. It's funny how we just came up with this uh, while we were prepping for the show. I want to talk about old school parenting, old school parenting. And I want to call it old school parenting slash black mamas. I want to, man, we got to talk about this topic, man. This is, like I said, nowadays, the way uh, my parents used to beat me, shoot, they go to jail with, with the, the, this new laws now, man. And I, I kind of, first, I disagree with it, you know, but like I said, that's today's topic. And then it's funny how different cultures have different ways of punishing their kids. But, oh, know, yeah, yeah, you, you know. You know, black mamas, you know, not to get mistaken as black mambas, but just as dangerous. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want to mess with no black mama, man. You know, I, I done seen black mamas whoop ass under all kind of duress. I, cigarette in the mouth. They could be driving and whoop your ass, you know. They pull over to put it on you, huh? They're the only multitask ass whooping parents on this planet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just keeping the one. <laughs> right, right. You know? But yeah, but yeah um, hey, uh, hey, before you go any further, keep interrupting us. Uh, I like to start off with uh, once again, listeners. I thank all you guys. Hey, listeners, everybody. I thank all you guys for voting because it was a big turnout for this election. It was a very big turnout. It was. It was. I mean, it's huge. But I would like to do is I have a special video that I want to dedicate to Donald Trump. Can I play it right now before we go any further? You know what? Do your thing, man. I mean, I don't see why not. Okay, you know? like I said, people I'm warning you, there may be some words that you don't like in this, some cuss words. Oh. But we were all grown, like I said. Donald Trump curse. Here we go. He sure does. Get the 
Lord, today. <laughs> man, that's what I'm talking about, man. man. That's pretty good, is it? Get the f out, fuck out, man. He needs yeah, to that, was, that, out. Was, that was pretty straight to the point right there, buddy. <laughs> you, know my shit, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. you, you might want to, you know, that might make the average person want to fight, like, before they leave. Like, oh, man, I was going to leave, but damn. <laughs> what you mean? Look at what you're saying is you're, you're scheduled and bound to leave, but this guy's doing this, so he could get mad. Out. That's he kind yeah. of you were leaving anyway, and tell you the fuck out that you get the fist. I'm like, what? Yeah, you know, you know, I was gonna leave with no problem, man. He had he had gonna call me a bitch. God <laughs> okay, look out, man. Okay, we you gotta, gotta fight now, man. <laughs> right, right. Get the fuck out. Oh man, they're making a scene out of it. Everybody hear it. Yeah. Right. You know what? You don't know, see, you see the yeah, let's get back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but let's get back, man, talking about the, the, the mamas, man. We're talking about, like, parenting, you know, how it's different culturally. You know, our culture, see, our parents are a little bit different from other cultures. Have you ever went and got your own switch? What's that? Have you ever had to go get your own switch? Yeah, I, the, my own. I always got a smaller one. And sometimes smaller ones are hurt, too. Yeah, them the ones that get see you can't be getting the smaller man that elevate the ass whooping that's coming. Right. Because it just piss your parents off. Because they saw it's a oh which I get yeah, that's why you gotta I got a I got a trivia question. I want our followers to see if the followers are answering. See what the what the uh the uh, most uh answer is. Who is more than likely to whoop your ass with a switch? The female side of the family or the male side of the family? Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna say a resounding female side because I oh, can't yeah. even recall uncles and daddies grabbing switches. No, they, 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 normally daddies don't really whoop like that. No, they gonna punch you out. It's if you grew up in the switch right. era, then your daddy punched you out. Right. Yeah, daddy. Yeah, yeah daddy's gonna the switch. Yeah, yeah. If you grew up in that era, he he punched you out. He he he. he Whooped your ass for real, you, I, you know. But yeah, but yeah, <clears throat> put it on, yeah, because that's switch ain't right. Uh, the dads use a belt; they, they they do the belt, but not the switch. The moms is yeah. switch. Yeah, they get that leather. <laughs> <laughs> we had that leather. Oh man, but yeah, um, it's interesting how this culturally, because even this this very day, I don't know if people doing the, the whooping like they would. They call it whoopings. I don't do the whooping like in our time period, but you you, you walk in the stores, you see like. Uh, you know, a sister going off on her kids because kids. I mean, I love kids, man. Kids are a blessing, man. I remember my son being young, I was so blessing. But at the same time, ooh, they could get on your nerves. They could get on your fucking nerves. And I remember one lady. She, she said to her son, "I'm dropping stuff," and she said, "You stop, you stop." She raised her voice. They still kept doing it. And she, then she she put them both. They're small enough. They put them in the car. You mother, if you move once, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. She said something else, and then the kids got like this. And I was like, I wanted to clap almost. I mean, it's bad with <laughs> I'm being real. Hey, it worked and they were quiet. Right. And these people were like, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. And one of them looked like she wanted to get on her phone and report it. And one of them actually, another one actually called a mat store manager on her. Yeah, she, she probably she was probably caring, you know, don't understand that this discipline stuff is necessary. She was the one that was like, look, look, Marge, look. See that? See, well, wait a minute. Here it comes. And there it goes. You see, and this is what's wrong. You know, she the one that <laughs> called get the police caught on you. And then, you know, how yeah. police don't even care. You know, like, oh, you just discipline your child. All right, thanks. You know, as long as no marks we checked, no abuses, no no uh, abusement seem abusing seemed like it was going on. And then they let you go on about your way anyways. Right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, of course, uh, our moms could get a little carried away sometime, but hey, that's hey, that's legit though. I mean, I mean, you know what? Yeah, you know, it, and it's it's like big in our in our culture, anyways. And then I want to say Hispanic culture too. I didn't see, I didn't see some ass whoopers from a Spanish mom. Yeah, they whoopers up. I know this one girl. Her dad used to get pissed off. 
he has a, a whole like he has a, like like he has like a pillowcase filled with tequila right. bottles filled with tequila bottles so whipping his kids with tequila bottles. Yes. Yeah, you trying to get him drunk? I know yeah. he has tequila bottles in a pillowcase. I'm beating him. That's what I'm saying, man. What kind of man? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, okay, black people would do that shit. That's pretty extreme. Crazy people will do that, no matter what color they okay. are. Okay, that's a whole other topic. That, that's that's <laughs> not different. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I don't see <clears throat> sane parents really go to the extreme. Like, I, my mom used to date this one dude, man, and uh, he had got the rubber to the sliding screen door. And it's not like the rubber that come off the regular screen, that little skinny gray piece. Right. This is black and it looked like like old school racetrack, but it's very rubbery. So, so when it hits you, it, it wrap and stretch and then come back and wrap again. Whoa. And then give off the sound. The noise. Yeah. Sound like an old school karate flick or something. Like you get really <laughs> pow, pow. Oh, you know, you might even hear that or something. <laughs> you know, that's what he said, man. That sounds like some slave shit. <laughs> yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's roots music. Yeah. It, it, ooh, mezzo. You know, <laughs> flee, don't whoop me. No more. You know, you, oh, we get you, whooped. We, 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 I used to white people call it whipped. When you get whipped, uh, they can play some of that, that slave music. Point taken, point taken. You're right. Wept. You didn't, you didn't well, I mean, that's another thing about it. We call it whoopings or whoop. The white people call it whip or spanking. Spanking. Yeah, you know, I have to, I have to spank little Johnny today because he just did not listen. And I warned him. I said, Johnny, you cut that out, young man. And. You know, well, and when he said, fuck off, Bob, I ain't had enough. So I put him oh, in the He gets back in the, back in the mouth in my, in my house, my house where I grew up in. Yeah, you tell a black mama. <laughs> I, I can't even finish the story. It's unheard of. <laughs> you can't tell a black mama. I had a, I had a white friend. I went to his house. And uh, he did something pretty bad. I forgot what it was. But... Uh, his balls, man. I, I, you know, I, I thought I, I thought I thought it was only movies, man. I thought it was only movies, man. She she gave him a spanking, and mm. she put him on his on his lap like in a movie. Oh, like damn! You know, how, I mean, how old was he? He's like about eight. She was on his lap, like you know, like turn you know, like Lynn Stowe, and she was spanking on the butt. And I'm laughing, I'm, saying, man, that ain't shit. I know, I know you know, I was my mom's story. We were laughing my ass. She said, "What? Yeah, she, he was on the laugh. She's doing this." And I said, to "Myself." And then, and then we both laughed. And she said, "That's why it's so bad, man. Because that, it, 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 it's nothing. I mean, I'm laughing because you only see it in movies, man. Like, it's right. like, uh, I was like, wow. I mean, people That's really right. think that way. I'm saying myself. <laughs> and at that point, I'm laughing, saying, "Man, you know, I want to get one too, just for the hell of it, you know, so I can just." Go <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looked like it feel more good than hurt, you know. And, and, and to be honest, I look looking at his face, it, it didn't phase him. Yeah, he, he was like, ow, 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 ow. You know, but, you know. <laughs> Next day he's cussing again and going off yeah. on it. Oh, robotic ass ow, huh? Like, ow, mom. <laughs> yes, ow. <sighs> Ouch, mom. Yeah. Yeah, but speaking of again. Again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. She was like. He's like, oh, oh, I mean, it's just, oh, it's just, it was funny. But yeah, speaking of spankers, man, I, one time I saw um, my cousin, man, this very day, I still remember this, man. Uh, my mom's put it on him one time. Um, she was waiting for a check, waiting for this big, you know, I don't know what kind of check was. I'm a kid, I didn't really know the details. Right, and right, right. I don't know what, I don't know what was on his mind. We're looking for, okay, we had a cap gun. And he was looking for, you know, I mean, it's for his cap, you know, the cap gun, he put the little paper in. God, right, God. right. And then right. uh, I don't know what his dumbass was thinking when the mail the mail came. He, we we got the mail and he said, "Oh, let me use this envelope uh, for my cap." And he cut her uh, envelope that had her check in it. He cut it. Wow. And he and he really? put his cap. You know the cap gun didn't work. 
And then my mom's come in, um, look for me. I say, hey, what's this? Who did this? I don't know how she knew he did it. She did it, and then she she was pissed. And she and then because he was told not to, we told not to go through her stuff. And see that that's the main thing she got mad going through her stuff. That's the main thing. Then the right. second reason he messed her checkup. Oh man! And back in those days, it's not like how now you call up, go online. I mean, checks then you have to wait like a month to get another one. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, you, 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 I mean, I'm not lying. All I can remember, she was like swinging him like this, pow, hitting one hand, pow, pow, like multitasking. <laughs> I can't believe that shit, man. That's some for fucking karate, fucking on um, the Matrix shit. She was like, wah, wah, and I'm like this. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I like my friend. I was, when I was laughing. I can laugh out like this. Oh, my mom's a bad shit. That's why, because I was pretty, I was pretty good. I said, man, that's why. I'm not doing anything bad this month. That shit was crazy. After that, man, I got even more scared of it. I got more respect for it for that. I don't say scared. I just got more respect after watching that. You know, I was like, damn, she don't mess around. That was that black mama strength right there, man. Like it's, it's, it's not that big, but she got him. And you know what crazy about it is? I don't know how white people are. White people listening, we love you. I'm, I'm not talking about trying to say white people, but what I'm getting at is notice I say moms and cousin. I don't know about your culture, but mine, your aunts could put it on you if you act up while you're at their house. I mean, they could put it on you. They don't need to call for permission. Okay, babysitters, that's another time. Babysitters should have put their hands on the person they're watching. But your relatives, standard relatives, oh, man, they, they could put hands on you too if you mess up. I mean, because a lot of oh, yeah. times, and my aunt would say, oh, I, I spanked him. And then first thing she said, what did he do? And then I might get a second one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Saying, but um, <laughs> when she put it on my um, cousin, my aunt was going to put it on him, too. I mean, that's how. But then my, my mom's talked to her and said, no, nah, you don't need to. I already took care of it. And then she said, really? You sure? You really? She's you know what? I have to say one thing, man, about our culture when it comes to ass whippers. If you get an ass whipper from someone other than your mama or your daddy, it starts a chain reaction of ass whippers. Because you're going right, to get your right, ass whipped right. because you had to get I mean, your yeah, ass whipped. I'm saying um, it can't be like <laughs> family. It can't be somebody. Or outside the fact that even if you're wrong, even if you're wrong, Oh yeah, and they asked whoop too. They, they <laughs> look if Miss Johnson from next door, who ain't family, had to get your ass, that's gonna triple another ass. Like yeah, we're the only culture. Where, like I said, we're the only culture where an ass whooping would get you an ass whooping. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> and like you said, you know, it's got to be a cousin, auntie, uncle, relative. You know what I mean of some sort. That's a, a guardian figure. And yeah, I you know I had to whoop that boy. Let it don't let it be grandma because now moms is all like, oh, you got my mama upset. Yeah, when you're younger, <laughs> um, if, if, if you're younger, your grandmother's not that old. Yes, yeah, she, she could get down too, put it on you. They hate to say mm -hmm. everybody out there. You got a whooping by a grandfather. What's that? You ever got a whooping by a grandfather? Nah, like that. We kind of interesting. I don't know about that one. That that's. The other level. I never been whooped by a grandfather. I don't know about that. What's a grandfather whooping like? It, you know, I'm, I'm. I can only imagine because I'm gonna have to go out on limb and say I've never really seen a grandfather whoop. I don't think grandfathers whoop. You know, but could you imagine if they did though? Like, well, grandmamas whoop, grandfathers whoop too, but it wasn't a thing. You know, it. it yeah, you know, I never heard of grandfather whooping. That's kind of rare. I, I never heard of that. Yeah, just like somebody posted on uh, the other day, like, do you ever seen your grandma black? It's like black folks. Have you ever seen your grandmama cook tacos? <laughs> Anybody that was over forty said no. You know, everybody younger because you know some of these grandmamas is forty, so you know, thirty eight years old grandma. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, of course, man. Yeah, the younger people they 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 gonna have that answer. You're right. But yeah, um, like I said, white people are uh, not blacks, you know, Asians, whatever. Um, hey, I'm not saying we're evil people. Just culturally, that's how we we're brought up. It's different. And I'm quite sure. Do you think it got? Do, do, I think it got a little bit better, but it still goes on. I mean, um, yeah, it, it still goes on. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not a family like that to really know, but it still goes on with it. The parents has put it on them. You know what? Uh, yeah, man. 
you know, a lot of people think that these, you know, I mean, some of the parents, like I said, they're really young parents and they really got no foundation. They, they, they actually edge in some of that BS some with the younger kids. You know, you see the videos where they coach you with coaching the kid alone and do the cuts out. They think it's cute, but um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you, you, you older. Yeah, you, you gonna know. You forty or better, you you gonna know. You gonna <laughs> so, you know. I know. I I I kind of as a kid, man. All I thought about was, man, I can't wait till I'm an adult or old enough to where I can stop getting the kind of whoopings our culture get. Even when we was kids, we knew our culture right. had an whooping unlike any other culture when it came to fucking up. You know, or you know, and there was other cultures that was spanking their kids or even giving them swats or disciplining them, but we wasn't too much for the timeout shit. We right. didn't get into that. You time know, we out. got an ass whooping and then we got a punishment. Yeah, top like, right. Once it's past eight hours, it ain't time out. You know, <laughs> once it's past three hours, it ain't time out. Right. Okay. I mean, like I said, man, it's just different. Like I said, we're, we're not evil people. That's just, it's just different culturally how people do things. Oh yeah. So like I said, kids, man, we love them, man, but ooh, they could get on your nerves. Yeah. You know, I, I wish I was humble with like I got I got a lot of white friends. I don't know. I mean, I, I got a lot of them, but the majority of my white friends that I've seen discipline their kids, um, it's very few that's gonna be like how we <laughs> do it, you know, and they you know, for the most part they ain't got no bad kids, you know. Right. You know, you know how it goes depending on your environment that you're surrounded by when you grow up, et cetera, right. et cetera. You know, that's an influence. But uh for the most part, I'm seeing some discipline and I'd be like, man, I would have got I would have got my soul snatched from me and, and delivered to God so he can check on it. Yes, yeah, especially, when, yeah, especially when they, yeah, <laughs> up in public, you know, they think they get home free just acting up in public. Man, ooh, that's for the parents to just lay it on them. Let's yeah. See. White white people, they don't want to. I, should, I talk white people, but we well, you know it's true. There's some truth to what I'm saying. But yeah, like other cultures, they're like, you know, they, they want to hold back because they're in public. But white black black folks, man, they, they that doesn't stop them. Oh uh, yeah, shit. Black folks, man, or, or mom be like Lamar. You know I'm about to fuck you up, right? You know that shit just go right in in the store, <laughs> and Lamar be like. Yeah, I know. You know, because it's imminent. You know, it's it's happening. <laughs> right. And don't be. You know, I, I've uh, as a kid, I think all of us, especially boys, got caught going to the store with your parents, stealing some little Hot Wheel toy, car, candy. All of us boys have stole some at least once between the age of four and six. <laughs> Maybe four and eight, you know, but you got, you got, you got to, you know, got to give them some lessons. And every time you get caught, it, 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 every time you're gonna get caught. But every time, for the most people I know, they done got caught and they got their ass whipped right there right. in the parking lot. You took the candy or whatever it was back in the store. They, they could have, it could have been, they could have got away with it. Right. Scott clean. What we and, they, and mom's putting the stuff. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> where get that from? Ooh, just like that. It's the yeah. straight, straight up. Where get that from? I didn't buy no hot wheel. How the hot wheel get in the damn bag? Ooh, and you know what? Moms, they can read your body. Man, and then take you back in the store. I got a thief. Ooh, I'm and they can read your body. Yeah. Everybody, the manager of the store be like, damn, he, he got away with it, man. Do you, you want us to really do this? It's only two ninety nine. The, um, the manager doesn't need to report you anything because you already you, you can see right there you you about to get you about to get dealt with. Like yeah, the manager don't want to know. He about this mom about to whip that boy. Like, you know what, ma'am? I gave it to him. I, I did. Now, you didn't tell your mama I gave you the can't the car boy. You know, like <laughs> trying to because he knows black mama finna come bring it. Right, he already knows he don't need to do anything. <laughs> it's like, actually, he's doing her a favor. I mean, she's doing him a favor. Hey, you know, hey, you don't need to press charges. You don't need to do anything. I, I got this. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, um, like I said, uh, culturally, I mean, it's kind of interesting and funny. But 
would um do you think Brady Mac could close this sex this session out? Because I remember he had a joke one time that he said <laughs> that kids uh you treat kids nicely, but at the age of four and up, he could put it on them from the neck up. So he said something crazy there. Oh, you want me to tell you what the fuck I said? I can yeah, tell you. Say? Stacey, I can I can tell you what the fuck I said, man. <laughs> I told you. I believe a kid when they get four years old, you can hit him in the stomach or the chest. Okay? I'll fuck a kid up, Stacey. I'm not playing with your children. I'm not playing with them. Okay? Let me tell you something about these kids. They ain't gonna fuck with me, Stacey. <laughs> 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 that's it, everybody. That's Troy doing his Bernie Mac, man. That is so good, man. Damn, with the fro, you look more like him. Damn, you should go to Bernie Mac too. But you know what? You need a little more darkening. You know, you need yeah, to go to the salon or something. You know, other than that, yeah. man, oh, man, you could be <laughs> like a lighter version of him. That's, just, man, that's my point, though, man. But that guy was like, he matches your shirt, man. That's how dark he was. Yeah, this is this. Honest, man. Man. That, that, like yeah. I said, I'm not knocking darkness because I'm a dark ass brother, but. I'm saying he had that onyx shiny black, you know what I mean, which is beautiful, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. Well, you know he had that money, so he had the best of the moisturizers, yeah. and the oils. But even, but even that kind of black, that's <laughs> another topic on black. That kind yeah. of black. I mean, moisturizer enhances it, but you naturally got it, you know. He was reflection black. You know how you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it now. Oh man. I love him though, but you know, he, he was a joke, you know, like a black joke, like um you don't ever stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you ever walk up on a nice, good, shiny, just fresh wax black car and you like, I can see all the colors in my clothes. This is amazing. <laughs> How's it doing it? This is the color black, you know. <laughs> you know, another one, you know another, like those brothers would be so black when they smile, they they teeth are so white because the contrast. Yeah, you, you, it actually can't hurt your eyes if you don't. You know, look at it slowly. You have to take your time. You somebody that black and they smile. You want to do this first because you don't know what you're in for. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we got to go here. Uh, like I said, uh, the next one. <laughs>